So we've got everything programmed and we think we're ready to fly. However, it's really important that we actually do a pre-flight test just to confirm that everything is working correctly. The first thing that you need to do is we need to check and be sure that the surfaces are all moving in the, in the correct direction. I'm using an inversa here because it's a bit smaller and it'll be easier for you to uh, demonstrate how this works. So let's start with the aileron. So I give a right aileron command. The right aileron should rise, and in fact it is. So I know the ailerons are going in the right direction. An up elevator command should result in an up elevator, the elevator rising, and of course pushing down goes down, and yes it does. So a right rudder command should give right rudder. That's all working in the correct direction. So we've all done that before with our airplanes. That's very easy. Um, if you have any questions about that, we have in the setup guide, or in the uh, quick start setup guide, um, there's actually a graphic that shows that. And then the next section you probably haven't done, or some of you that have done uh, various gyros and things in the past, maybe you've done this in the past, but the next thing that we need to do is be sure that, it, that the uh, AS3X system is correcting in the right direction. So select a flight mode where the gain is turned up in the highest. In the case for this, I have three flight modes, and flight mode three is my 3D rate. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. Now what I need to do is first I'm going to check my roll. I'm going to roll the airplane to the left, which should result in a right aileron command, meaning that the right aileron should go up. So I'm going to roll it in this direction, and sure enough, as you can see, I have a heading hold on, and that makes it even easier to do this. So as I roll this to the left, the right aileron goes up, so I know that that's working correctly. Now, with the elevator, if I push the nose down, I should get up elevator, so the nose goes down. And again, I have heading hold on elevator. As you can see, the nose goes down, the elevator goes up, and vice versa. Nose goes up, the elevator goes down. I know that that's working correctly. Now I'm going to point this to you so that you can see how this works. So if I give a right rudder input, or right yaw input, I actually get a left rudder. And as you can see, that's working in the right direction as well. By the way, it's, if you have a difficult time remembering how this all works, again, go to that um, the um, setup guide or the um, quick start guide, and on the bottom left-hand corner, it actually shows you which way you move the aircraft and which way the control surfaces move. So the good news is we have our surfaces going in the right direction. So by the way, if they're not going in the right direction, do not correct it from the transmitter. That will cause a lot of problems. Don't reverse it in the transmitter. If, for example, the ailerons were going in the wrong direction, I'd get out my iOS device, my application. I would open up that, open up the app, and go to the, um, the surface setup screen, and then I would reverse the ailerons in there. So you do it in the application, not, in the, uh, not from the transmitter, for sure. Um, if, for example, when I was making the corrections, the AS3X corrections, if that wasn't correct, the only way that that cannot be correct is if you don't have the orientations right. So if that's not working correctly, double check to be sure that your receiver is mounted the way that you think it is, you know, in one of those eight possible positions, and then go back to that orientation screen in the app, and chances are you've got uh, the orientation in the aircraft is not matching the orientation in the app, and then correct that, and then go through the process. Now there's one more step that you need to do uh, before you're ready to fly, and that is we need to verify that our flight modes are doing what we expected them to. As I've talked uh, about this quite frequently in, in the video, the way that we generally start with a brand new airplane especially is we start flight mode one has no gains. Um, and we have a moderate amount of control throw so that it'll fly comfortably. And that's what I've got here. So I'm gonna switch to flight mode one. I'm gonna move the airplane and you'll see no gains. And I'm gonna displace the sticks and you'll see I have a moderate amount of elevator, moderate amount of, a moderate amount of ailerons and rudder. This is essentially is going to be a very comfortable airplane to fly, and if I get in the air and if something happens, you know, if something's, say for example, I didn't get my receiver stuck down as well as I should, and the receiver falls out and it starts tumbling inside the airplane, you know, I can switch to this mode and I'm going to be able to recover. So that's flight mode one. Flight mode two, if you'll remember, has um, um, only rate mode, and it has a moderate around rate amount of rate mode and a moderate amount of control service. I'm going to flip to flight mode two, and you'll see, or at least you'll be able to hear, that the gains are correcting. And again, test, and I have you know, the appropriate amount of throw. Flight mode three, I have set up so that I have 
relative adjustments in flight mode one and two that's absolute, so I won't be able to adjust that. But in flight mode three, I've got high rates, I've got high throws, and I also have heading hold and a lot of gain. So I just flipped to flight mode three, and I'm gonna move this, and as you'll see, I have heading, and you'll see how much everything moves. In addition, you'll also notice how much control throw I have. I have huge control throws. That's going to allow me to, to hover and do 3D maneuvers uh, very aggressively. The other thing that I want to check is how my, uh, if my uh, relative function is working as I expect. So I have it programmed on my left trimmer, and I have my left trimmer now set to 100%. See how everything's active? And by the way, from the main screen, the left trimmer is displayed on the left-hand side where your throttle trimmer normally is and it, it stays displayed for several seconds after you hit that. I'm going to go ahead and reduce that to zero. So there's 100, that's about 50, that's zero. Now the game should be completely turned off, and it is, and you'll see that. And then I'm going to go ahead and adjust it to 50, and you'll see now I have a moderate amount of gain. That's going to allow me to adjust the gains in flight. So um, what I've just uh, proven here is the fact that uh, uh, the flight modes are all working correctly, Everything's working in the right direction as far as servo reversing goes, and everything is correcting in the right direction, and now I'm ready to fly.